In this video, I'm going to do some uh, disc cloning with the Cronus 2 image 2021. And the uh, disc I'm cloning is this one right here. Samsung 1 terabyte, 2.5 inches, pretty much laptop size. So uh, this will go, or actually the, uh, the one I'm taking half is going to go in my wife's uh, laptop computer after I install this one. And of course I bought this, you can see there, on the 24th of the, the month. And the only uh, hardware you will need is this. USB 3.0 SATA 3 hard drive adapter and as you saw at the uh, beginning of the video you just uh, connect it to the the new SSD and then connect it to the computer and then just open a Cronus uh, true image we're good to go. Now you might need a screwdriver to break into or get into your uh, computer to remove the uh, the old one and replace it by the new one. Really the hardest the hardest uh, part of the uh, of the cloning was taking out the battery of the my uh, PC. I figured since, uh, since I was going in there anyway to replace the uh, disc, I wanted to replace the battery because it was you know several years old. So that took a while. Let me show you what I have hard drive here. Notice I have. Pretty much a terabyte already. This this uh, drive right here, not, not 930 uh, gigabytes, and 569 are free. And then I've got uh, my storage one, and this is actually the uh, the one I had. Okay, this one right here. And as it turns out, I actually already cloned the drive, and I've already replaced it. So this right here is the uh, Samsung that I just uh, showed you that I bought uh, at Amazon. And I wanted to, in case uh, you haven't done any cloning, you can always you can always clone from a from a smaller disk to a larger one, and vice versa, as long as the data you're transferring will fit in the other drive. So if you got uh, if you got 600 gigabytes, and the drive you're cloning to, that is the target one, has only 500, uh, 600. Uh, Gigabytes is not going to go into 500 gigabytes, so that's not going to work. But Acronis makes it easy for you. It it, it does all the setting up uh, of the partitions and so forth. So what I'm going to do here, uh, just to make a point, is I'm going to do the clone the other way around. So I'm going to do this. Close this out. We open up Acronis to image, and just to be clear again, the original the original drive that I had on the computer, my C drive, was about uh, 500 gigabytes, somewhere in there. And I wanted to replace it with uh, one terabyte, about a thousand gigabytes. So I went ahead and cloned it, cloned, cloned the 500 gigabytes to the uh, one terabyte, and that's already done. I, I replaced the drives, but uh, now I'm going to go the other way, just to show you that you can do it. So here we are in uh, Acronos. I went to Tools here, and here are some of the uh, options you have. Okay, Rescue Media Builder, I did a video on that. Cronus Secure Zone, I've done that. Not with this uh, version of the uh, software, but with, uh, I believe it was the 2018 maybe version. So here I'm just going to click on Clone Disk. And you see how easy this is. Clone. It's initializing. And choose Clone Mode. Of course, you want the easy way, automatic, that everything's done for you. So click on this. And then those are the drives that I have. Number one, of course, is the uh, the new one. Okay, so it's already installed in the computer, uh, uh, cloned earlier. But now I'm going to go back the other way. Disk number three is the one that I had on the computer. Okay, that's just under 500 gigabytes, and it's about three four years old. But it's it's still good. But I wanted a uh, more capacity, and just like I said, this this one here will go on my uh, wife's computer. Or laptop and I'll have to do some cloning there to, to get that done but now see here, here's the deal select the source hard drive from the list so source drive and it pretty much picks it for you you can see it's right there by this one that's 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 the C drive so I, I select that so we're copying everything there to the 500 gigabyte drive and they're both and at that point is they're both SSD Okay, solid state uh, drives, both of them. The only difference is the one that I just installed earlier is uh, one terabyte instead of the 500 gigabytes. So I clicked I on this to make it my source disk. And everything's set there, so I just click on next. And 
And obviously the target uh, disk is already connected to the computer as you saw in the uh, first part of the uh, video. Okay, so now we did its calculations there. So now it's looking for a destination disk. Select the target hard disk from the list below. So where are we going to clone to? Where is this uh, data going? The Windows uh, environment, where is it going to be going to? Well, again, it's going to go to disk number three. Uh, number two is really just a storage that I have on this computer. So I click on three. And then I click on next. Okay, now it says the destination hard disk drive you have chosen contains some partitions that could contain useful data. Click OK to confirm deletion of all partitions on the destination hard drive. Now, ordinarily, that would, that, I didn't get that message when I first did the clone because it was a brand new one. But now I'm cloning from the new one to the old one just to show you that, that you can go from uh, not only from a, from a smaller disk to a larger one, but you can go from a larger to a smaller just as long as the data fits on the one you're cloning to. So here, yep, I don't care. Uh, okay. Select the required cloning method. So what are we going to do? To replace a disk on this machine? To use it in another machine? And I'm just going to click uh, on the first one, even though I'm not going to use it. Okay, but that's because that's no normally what you would do. But there's, there's uh, uh, other options here. I'll click Next. And then it gives you there a before and after. Okay, what the data is going to look like. And you can see there, they're pretty much the same. So if you're satisfied with what you see there, you just click on proceed and the cloning will start and then you can just go do whatever you want watch tv have a snack because it'll take it took about an hour when i did it uh, the other way around okay so it's the same data pretty much so i click on proceed so actually what it's doing it, it, it's wiping everything out and of course it's just copying back what I what I uh, copied to the uh, to the new disk. You'll see there again. It, it's telling you what it's doing. It's going to give you an est uh, estimated time left, calculating, and so forth. So the rest of it just is just sitting and waiting. And then when I did uh, when I did it the first time, uh, when I put well, that, when I actually cloned to, cloned to the new SSD, all I did really is uh, turn the power off, disconnected everything from uh, from any power. Uh, wire from the uh, or, or cable from the computer and put it on the floor and uh, open the uh, back of it so I can access the uh, hard drive replaced it and then like I said well once I was there I said well I might as well replace the uh, battery so like I said I'll, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, uh, speed this up Okay, the process is completed. The disk was successfully cloned. And then you can read uh, what it says there. So either way, you had to take the uh, destination drive, or actually the uh, source drive off, in my case. But of course, like I told you, uh, I already have the drive that I want. I already copied the uh, or cloned uh, to the new one and that's already installed so I was just doing this to show you that you can go the other way around and uh, what I'll do next is uh, take the uh, clone disk and like I said uh, I'll clone uh, the uh, disk in my wife's laptop to that one and then, and then replace it I think hers the one she's got on right now is not an SSD so these were both SSDs 
and she doesn't have much data in hers, but she will, she'll have an SSD so the computer will run uh, faster. I'll close this out. And then what follows uh, will be a little bit of the video on, on the installation. Uh, taking my computer apart to replace the uh, the current disk that was there. And again, the, 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 the amount of data was over about 250 gigabytes. And, and it took a little bit over an hour. Okay, the less data you have, of course, the less time it will be. So, uh, like I said, I'll follow up with uh, some of the video on the, uh, on the installation. Now, after the first clone into the uh, one terabyte uh, Samsung SSD, I uh, disconnected power to the computer, okay. disconnected all cables, put it on this towel here, and I'm taking the stand off right now. Basically, no tools for the most part except one flat uh, head screwdriver. The uh, cover to the back of this had to simply uh, two tabs on each end that I had to uh, move out and then just pry with this uh, flathead screwdriver to remove the cover. And then I'm going to remove another cover inside here to uh, access the SSD that I'm uh, replacing with the new one, the new clone one. And I did have a bad angle, so I had to delete it. So right there I'm taking the battery off and trying to, I'm going to replace that. I have, I've already <laughs> installed the, uh, the SSD. You see it there, they see the, the blue cover there. Uh, there it is. So it's been replaced already. Uh, getting the uh, new battery here. Basically, this this uh, SSD is one tab and it slides out. The uh, the case that it has has two built uh, two uh, four built-in screws on each two on each side, and uh, you just pry that out and then put the new new one in and then slip it back. Pretty straightforward. Sorry, I couldn't get the video on that, but uh, it was it was pretty easy. I said the hardest part here was. Uh, that battery I did edit because it took me a while to get it to get it out but uh, finally did it and now everything goes back again you can see there's no screws here you just have to be careful to get all the uh, get the, 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 get the uh, cover aligned properly and then kind of snap it in and then the stand is locks in place. There. It's good to go. Reconnect it and uh, pretty much finished. Thanks for watching.